Hi, my name is Tamatis. Welcome to Dust Bowl. Our shop is in Athens, Greece, and we have been building, repairing, and maintaining instruments since 2012. The last few years we have been working with ADO building instruments with unique sound. Our first work together was building a series of instruments that would be the base for the Misfit collection. Afterwards, thanks to experimentation and always looking for original sounds, we started experimenting with even weirder musical instruments such as circle strings or Everwave. Today we're going to see how we can build an electric aeolic harp. We chose this instrument because it's relatively easy to build and it has a very interesting sound. In our shop we have no rules or boundaries whenever it comes to experimenting with a new instrument. All we care about is the sound that we're gonna achieve with it. So, let's start building this instrument. The instrument we're about to build has a simple design. We just have to mind a couple of important things when planning it. First, we have to mind that its length is below 1 meter because we're going to use guitar strings. We also have to make sure that there is room for the tuning pegs horizontally. Also, we have to make sure that the placement of the pickups is right in the middle, so as to make sure that we capture the average oscillation of the strings. Let's start with the design. The piece of wood that I have here right now it's above one meter, meaning that it is more than enough. With a width of 17 centimeters, meaning that the pickup of the guitar is going to fit perfectly. Let's start by drawing our middle line. As I'm going to recreate this prototype, the first thing I'm going to do is to keep more or less its dimensions. Here we're going to make a hole so that we can pass the strings through. And our first bridge is um, two and a half centimeters distance. And we have a length of 69 centimeters. Of course you can use any distance you want, depending on what type of strings you want to use and its tuning. So now we know that we're going to have a bridge here and another one here. So one of the most important things for this instrument will be to create as big as possible holes so that the air can pass through, while at the same time having a place in the middle to put our pickup and then the other hole. The way you make your holes, it's not important. You can make them as big as possible, you can use whatever distance you want, it's whatever suits you better. Like, they can be like this, as long as you always mind that it doesn't reach our tuning pegs. Here in the middle, I'm going to leave more width so that the instrument can be more stable since there's going to be the pickup here. And finally we calculate that there are going to be a couple of holes which are going to be like this. And here our pickup. So now because I'm going to create a musical instrument based on our prototype, I have prepared a template which is going to help us with our design. It doesn't have to be exactly the same way, as long as we mind what we said before, that there's space for our tuning pegs, that we have our middle line so that we can fit our pickup, and then with the nut that we're going to make, we're going to choose the distance of the strings so that we're sure that they pass exactly through each of the microphones of the pickup. Before starting to cut our wood, we're just gonna make a couple of holes so that are so can fit. The first cut that I'm going to make doesn't have to be precise, because afterwards I'm gonna pass it through the router. Of course you can make it, only with the saw, as long as you follow your lines. Thank you. 
as I was planning to use the router, I didn't do a precise cut on the edges. If you're working on this and you don't have a router, all you have to do is cut slowly through the line you have drawn. Also, if you're using plywood, you're gonna have to use a small blade, otherwise the wood is going to break. Let's go to the router. After achieving our final form with the router, I'm gonna use it again for the edges. If you don't have a router, you can use sandpaper so that you can reach softness and it looks beautiful. Let's go. Now it's time to start planning how we're going to place our pickup. As you can see, we just have to sandpaper the edges. And we're going to use as guide the middle line that we drawn in the beginning. And now we go to the router again. So now, we have put our tuning pegs, we have made the holes for the strings, we have made the hole for the pickup. Our next job is to sand the body so that it's smoother and to start assembling. going to start assembling it. We gave it a retro vibe. We put our pickup. we're gonna put our string packs. We're using a small ring to hold our strings and we're almost there. The size of the strings we're going to use and the tuning we're going to use will depend on whatever you're looking for. You can experiment yourself until you find whatever sounds better for you. We completed building our instrument. Unfortunately, during the lockdown, we couldn't get two equal sets of tuning pegs, nor a socket for the jack, so we made it external. <laughs> 